And in 2016, after my National Youth Service Program, I believe God for marital settlement. Meanwhile, in 2016, I was informed that a woman of God came to pray in our compound, and then she said something was done against me getting married. When I heard this, my spirit reacted, and I refused to obey the instruction. However, I choose to keep serving God for my settlement. In 2017, I had three proposals, but they were all cancelled without any reason. At a point, it looked as if their prophecy was true, but I kept serving God and following instructions from this commission. Lo and behold, against the will of my enemies, on the 4th January 2020, I got married to a pastor in this church. That same year, in December 2020, God blessed her with his son. Like that one leper, I return all the glory to, the God, to God for liberating me. We can do better for Jesus. To him alone be all the glory. The testifier is Chineno Emmanuel Andrew. Shall we celebrate Jesus the more? Number two, divine settlement. I joined this commission in 2012, but prior to that time, we were beaten and battered. After asking God to show us where to serve him, the Holy Ghost directed my feet to Kenna land. Immediately we joined this commission, we began to see breakthroughs as God began to touch our lives. We believed God for a child, and during one of the covenant days of fruitfulness in 2012, Papa declared that sperm doesn't make children, but God is the one that created them. That word eat my wife and I like never before. Papa also asked, how many children do you want? And my wife said, two. In August 2013, my wife took in, and during the scan, two babies were revealed. A big, big hand for Jesus. In August 2013, my wife took in, and during the scan, the two babies were revealed. By May 2014, she was delivered of two bouncing baby girls. We also asked God to give us our own home. And in 2014, God laid it in my heart to buy 20 pieces of plastic chairs for my zone. I bought the chairs and God gave us a piece of land. By 2015, when the Wonder Double Prophetic Agenda was declared, we obeyed. And same year, we built our house. A big, big hand for Jesus. By May 2017, we packed in into our own house. We return all the glory to the God of this commission. Praise the Lord. Mr. and Mrs. Kisley will be uh, the testifiers. Shall we rise to our feet this morning with a big, big hand for Jesus for this amazing act of God in our midst. Shall we lift our hands to heaven this morning? And let's give quality thanks unto God right now from the depth of our heart.